This has been a while, hasn't it? It's just weird. Well, howdy, partners. Howdy, partners. So much has happened since we last sat down. This video is going to be split into a couple of different parts. Um, number one is the wedding. Sam, you have taken Monica to be your wife. Monica, you have taken Sam to be your husband. Do you promise to love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health? and forsaking all others to be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I do. <laughs> I do. We had our wedding. We had our wedding ceremony. Well, wedding reception. Slash say. ceremony. We did have a slash second renewal of vows ceremony. To go over really, really briefly, we got married in February. 22222, two, 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 by the way, and 222. 222. 222. Yeah. friends from near and far, thank you for joining us on this beautiful evening to celebrate an even more beautiful couple, Monica and Sam. I know they have worked so hard to make this night amazing for all of us and made my dad work even a little harder. I am so proud of the woman that Monica grew up to be and the life that she has chosen for herself, especially the man she has chosen to spend the rest of her life with. All of Monica's life I have been responsible to teach, protect, and ensure her happiness. I will never relinquish those, but today I will share them with Sam. Sam, <laughs> my first vow is to read through my vows without crying, although I'm not sure I could keep that promise because I've already cried like 800 times today. No matter how much I say it, I will never be able to thank God enough for bringing you into my life. I feel so beyond blessed that out of the billions of people on earth, he chose you to be my soulmate. <sighs> I told you I'd cry. What up, chap? <laughs> Is that my groomsman? <laughs> Photo started at 2 p.m. We had three hours to kill in the venue without knowing what to do, so um, we may have brought the. We? Who is we? Yeah, he was playing Rocket League. <laughs> Why were you supposed to be getting ready for the wedding? Oh no no no! Oh! <laughs> Twenty-five years ago, I held my little baby Monica's rose in my arms. We looked at each other with hopes and dreams and the understanding I will always love her unconditionally. When Monica was just a baby, I'd walk over into her room when she was asleep and kick her crib so she would wake up and play with me. We were two peas in a pod. We would constantly make up dances to perform in front of our family, which by the way, we totally rock. As her older sister, I was very protective over her, especially when it came to boys. I've been through it all. Her crushes on Cody Simpson, Austin Mahone, Justin Bieber, Damon Salvatore, Harry Styles, one Tate Carter. <laughs> and the list goes on, but nothing comes close to Sam. So. Oh gosh. You ready? Yeah. Monica. <laughs> oh, I'm already gonna lose it. The moment I saw you, new sensation, on the 11th of October 2015 at approximately 12.30 p.m. See, it was like 12.34, I remember that pretty much perfectly. That was the first time in my life I have been utterly speechless. Whenever I heard the phrase, love at first sight, I always dreamed that I would be fortunate enough to experience that. Thankfully, that's exactly what happened when I first saw you. I knew in that moment that my life had been changed forever and that you were incredibly special. Monica, thank you for being the best little sister I could ever ask for. I love you more than I can put into words, and I am so happy that you found your other half. I've never seen such a more beautiful bride. You are so incredibly kind, loving, caring, intelligent, 
and you have a British accent, which really just tops it all off. <laughs> he has always been her dream guy, British accent and all. When Sam was first introduced to her, our family and I saw that he didn't run for his life after meeting all of us, I knew he really loved my sister and was the one for her. Sam, you've chosen such an incredible woman to be your wife. All I ask for you is to take good care of her and to keep her smiling. You have truly shown her that fairy tales truly do come true. Gratefully remember all the loved ones that could not be here, but can be here in spirit. Especially their grandparents, Monica's uncle, and Sam's mom. Right before her passing, I promised your mom, sorry. I promised your mom that I would always look after you for as long as I shall live. Sorry guys. So as we stand here today, I promise you the same. Your mom was so proud of the man that you are. And although not physically, I know that she's here with us and always will be. We've been through the absolute highs of life together and especially recently the absolute lows. You've stuck with me by my side without a question every single time. Our venue and photographer convinced us to do a first look and it worked out pretty well because Monica got to wear her first dress for the first yeah. look. I first did a first look with my dad, which was the most emotional thing ever because I knew I was gonna cry when I saw my dad. I literally saw his back to me and I already was like, oh no. Jasper, are you back there? You know I have eyes behind my head. <laughs> look at my face. <laughs> oh, <no>. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> My baby girl. Oh, you look so handsome. That's Isn't what you tall? always want. With every field and rising sea. After I did my first look with my dad, obviously I had to do a first look with Sam, which again I cried because I saw how handsome you looked, and I was like, this is not. Do you guys want to see normal. the faces? Where hope's not lost but found. It is all that. Am I allowed to turn around as soon as she taps me? Yep. Don't put that pressure on me, because I won't cry. Holy. <laughs> Am I allowed to hug you? It is my privilege to renew the vows of these two insanely in love people on this beautiful, very warm day. They are the yin and yang to each other, a to and fro, an alpha and omega. They complete one another. And we know the change, the change will surely come. Maybe one more trip around the sun. You are genuinely the most beautiful person, both inside and out, that I've ever met. So most importantly, I promise to love you unconditionally and to strive every single day to give you the life that you deserve. My advice is to be comfortable with imperfection. Use your lips for truth, ears for compassion, hands for charity, heart for kindness, love, and prayer. May God bless you both and have a long, healthy, and happy life together. Sam and Monica, they are the most genuine pair that I have ever seen, both movies and in real life. Sam, we are so grateful that you've been brought into our lives and are a part of our family. I wish you both a beautiful and happy life. You deserve each other and I can't wait to see what the future holds. May the happiness you feel tonight be the happiness you feel for the rest of your lives. Congratulations.
I promise to always be there for you as you have for me every day for the rest of my life. I love you so incredibly much and I cannot wait to spend the rest of my life with you. You may now kiss the bride. <laughs>